Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got something super exciting for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. Juno Computers has just launched their latest Linux-powered tablet, the Juno Tab 3, and it's looking like a fantastic option for anyone who wants a powerful, portable Linux device. Let's dive into the details. So, Juno Computers, a US-based hardware vendor, has officially launched the Juno Tab 3, a sleek, Linux-powered tablet. What makes this tablet stand out? Well, it comes pre-installed with either Mobian Linux, a Debian-based OS designed specifically for mobile devices, or Ubuntu Kubuntu 24.04 LTS. You get to choose between the GNOME desktop environment on Ubuntu or the KDE Plasma environment on Kubuntu, which is super cool if you're particular about your UI. Now, let's talk specs. The Juno Tab 3 is powered by the Intel Alder Lake N Celeron N100 processor. It's a quad-core processor with four threads, a base clock of 1.1 GHz, and can boost up to 3.4 GHz with Turbo. Along with Intel UHD graphics, this is more than enough for typical tablet tasks and even some light productivity work. It has a 12.1-inch anti-glossy IPS touchscreen with a crisp 2K resolution of 2160 by 1440 pixels. It's got a 60 Hz refresh rate and a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, which gives you more vertical space for reading and working. And it's a 10-point capacitive touchscreen, meaning multi-touch gestures are super responsive. The tablet features an all-metal chassis, giving it a premium feel, and comes with dual stereo speakers for decent sound quality. The battery is a 5,000 mil amp hour 38 watt hour, which should give you about 5 hours of use. Maybe not the longest battery life for a tablet, but it supports 4K output at 60 Hz, so that's an added bonus if you want to connect it to a monitor or TV. You've also got the option of a detachable US English keyboard, which turns the tablet into a sort of mini laptop, making it perfect for on-the-go productivity. It's packed with 12 gigabytes of 4,800 megahertz LPDDR5 RAM, which is more than enough for multitasking on a tablet. For storage, the base model comes with a 512 gigabyte SSD, but you can upgrade to one terabyte for just $22 more, or go all out with the two terabyte version for $799. Connectivity-wise, the Juno Tab 3 comes with Intel AX101 Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, so you're covered for fast and stable wireless connections. It also includes two USB-C 3.1 ports, one of which supports charging and video output plus a micro HDMI port, a micro SD TF card reader, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a built-in microphone. Pretty impressive port selection for a tablet. As for the software, you've got some solid options here. If you go with Mobi and Linux, you'll get a mobile UI called Fosh, which is based on GNOME. Or, if you prefer the full desktop experience, you can opt for Ubuntu 24.04 LTS with GNOME or Kubuntu 24.04 LTS with KDE Plasma. So, whether you're using it as a tablet or a mini laptop, there's a Linux environment that'll suit your workflow. Now, let's talk price. The Juno Tab 3 starts at $699 with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. If you want double the storage, it's just $722, which is a pretty good deal. And for the maxed out two terabyte version, it's $799. Honestly, considering the specs and the fact that it's running Linux out of the box, I think that's a pretty competitive price. So, what do you think of the Juno Tab 3? Are you excited to see more Linux-powered devices hitting the market? Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about picking one up, or if you have any questions about the tablet. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Linux content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.